Now, good afternoon. I said I'd make another quick video today, kind of to clarify uh, what I've said in my last video. What I meant to say in my last video was, I did say that I was out of grass and I was held up at home. But it's kind of true, yes, but I'm actually going on a bit of a farm walk here today. And no, I have lots of grass. What I meant to say was, was that I was officially finished my second rotation of winter stockpile grass and anything after that would be spring regrowth. So I'm basically back here on the field, a rushy old lower bottom field here. Um, this is where I started my videos um, last November. So I came through here the first week of November and I came back to it again at the last week of January. Um, so this is the field that has had the most rest. This has been rested now since uh, the 25th of January. So that's January, February, March, April. So it's almost three months since I was here last. Now, there's lovely green lush grass coming on here, but that grass to me is just not at the stage where I, maybe it is here, but them rushy parts down there, another week or so. And it'd be ideal for me to come in here. Um, so I just don't want to hit it yet. And besides, it's two miles over from my uh, holding facilities for the test. So I can't bring them over here. Well, I could bring them over here and then bring them back again. But that's two road trips. And I don't want to do that. But uh, this is the situation here now. So the grass is growing well. Um, it had... Uh, so that's three months rest here now, no fertilizer, no spraying, no nothing. It did get topped last year and then I had uh, so many passes through then and two passes over winter. So as soon as I'm sorted now at home, they'll be coming down here and we'll be starting our whole spring into summer grazing program. So, over the winter time now, I was going through the whole farm in about two and a half months. The first round was two and a half months, and the second round I've just finished. Now, I skipped the home farm uh, on the second rotation, and I left it until the very end, which is now. So, that's the story how I organised it all, yeah. So, I do feel I'm still a couple of weeks out with everything. But, um, that's just the way it worked out. But we had an awful lot of rain here yesterday. We literally had a monsoon. We had a cold front come in from the Atlantic and it set over the country for the full day and dropped its whole payload down top of us. But out here now is grand. It's dry enough here now. This was very wet over the winter time. It's actually not too bad at all now for the amount of rain that did fall so as soon as i'm ready at home now i will be coming down here now and i'll be working my way up around these hills for most of the summer so that's the situation and also another thing as well the reason why i don't want to come in on this grass too quick either is i'm already thinking about autumn and and, and winters grazing already the longer I can leave this, and the the, the, the less the less uh, what am I trying to say now? The longer I can leave this uh, mature, the um, I've lost my words completely here now. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, if I come in here too quick and eat that grass off, it the regrowth will be that bit stunted. I'm already thinking about winter grazing in springtime. So the less I take from this all year round, I'll be building up my stockpile throughout the whole grazing season, is what I'm trying to say. So it's going from winter into spring, I think is the most important part of this regenerative agriculture and not using chemicals to grow grass. I could graze all this off and go and get bags of fertilizer and put it down and get lots of grass and even buy more bags of fertilizer in the autumn and get late grass but that's going to cost me lots of money and destroy our ground eventually 
But if I come in here and just eat the tips off that grass and keep the cattle moving, moving, moving all summer long and even close off a few fields, if it gets ahead of me, skip them and go back to the more lush grass and leave them fields that are untouched and get them on the next rotation, that will leave me with a lot of grass, good heavy grass that will get me through next winter. So basically, I'm already thinking about next winter, even before I hit spring grass, I'm thinking about next winter. So uh, that's basically how I operate. Now there's no cattle in this video now, it's probably a barn owl video and I'm kind of talking, getting mixed up in my words, I have a bit of a cold, a head cold, or that other thing that's going around, I don't know what it is, but... The old head is not with it today, but it's a lovely sunny day here today now. Um, hopefully things will dry up now and we can get cattle moving soon. My tags will be in the post this week. I'll get them tagged, get them tested, and I'll be down here now in the next couple of weeks. And uh, things will start moving rightly. So, uh, I hope you like this video here and understand me because I'm mincing my words a bit. But however, we leave it at that for now and... Uh, We'll, uh, we'll keep you all updated on how things are going. So you can like and subscribe. Uh, and we'll chat to you on the next one. So thank you. Bye-bye.